Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. So, as you would know if you've seen my 2019 goals video, I want to show a bit more of Wellington and New Zealand. So I'm just heading out to Battle Hill Farm Forest Park. Weather's uh, looking like it's going to pack in, but fingers crossed it goes well. So, um, yep, still in Wanui, heading out there right about now. But I thought I'd share something with you, so uh, yeah, take a bite. So in 1846, this was the scene of a bloody confrontation between Te Rangi Hayata's Ngāti Tūra and government forces. Up to the ridge line here you can see the forestry we own, and we're actually on the farm now, and you can see we've got over a thousand sheep, right down to the buildings where we uh, work and live, and then you've got the native remnant on the other side down here, which is a beautiful section of native bush which we help to generate. So I found this tractor, and um, yeah, brought it with me to uh, Battle Hill. So here I am at Battle Hill. Uh, it was a long, long drive, but we made it. No, I'm kidding. Of course I drove here. Uh, it was quite a ride in here. I uh, got to follow some bikes, so that was pretty damn awesome. But yep, I'm here. The weather's definitely overcast, but it hasn't rained yet, so I'm pleased about that. All right. Shall we take a look around?
So apart from its amazing history that this place has got, uh, I did a job here for the movie Daffodils. It's coming out this year, it stars Rose McIver. And uh, yeah, so we did a shot here. Uh, there was a wedding scene. Um, over in this general area was the catering tent. Uh, coming over to this way, they did some the wedding photos and stuff for the um, for the wedding. Obviously, wedding photos for the wedding kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So uh, where I'm standing right now is where Rose McIver's character got her wedding photos with her co-star George. Um, yeah, so nothing too exciting about this place uh, where I'm standing except that that's where they got their wedding photos done. So yeah, and there's a church that I'll stop at on the way back home uh, where they did some filming too. Um, I don't know what exactly was in there because I was a shuttle driver for the extras. I even got to sh um, shuttle Rose McIver from one of the churches in Wainui to set. Um, and I personally thought that was pretty damn awesome because I'm a huge fan of hers. Uh, and the fact that she said thank you, it was the smallest thing that just, it, it made my day. So the other thing that they used in Daffodils or the other location was this big red shed behind me. Uh, I think that might have been for the reception of the wedding. Uh, they had a few, you know, well-known people turn up to this. So yeah, that was another location that was used in the film Daffodils. So one of the motorways that we need to take to get to uh, Battle Hill Farm Forest Park is Transmission Gully. Uh, now they're wor working on that. Uh, it's been a work in progress for a while and I believe 2020 is when it's meant to be finished. Uh, so I'm in a little spot at the moment that's got all the information uh, about the Transmission Gully, which looks like it's going to be a great asset to Wellington. So the Summit Loop is a moderate walk. It's an hour and a half through the valley floor. It takes you right up to the top of Battle Hill. From the top you get great views down the Horakiri, down to the Pawata Hanui Inlet. This is one of our best walks at the park. Not that calm. I'm not cut out for this. Hey guys, I'm a bit too unfit to finish the walk set. Let me see. Right here, I'm pretty sure it's a destination because I see a couple of people up there. But there's still a bit of incline, and that's what's killing me. So, I'll work myself up to it. Next time I come out here, I'll try and get a little bit further until we actually get there. So apologies if you're waiting to see something cool. So I'm making the decline, as you can see. Um, as I was walking up, 
There were multiple times I wanted to stop, but I kept pushing myself. Uh, my calves are freaking sore. Um, this decline isn't exactly a lot of fun because my legs feel like chilly. I think next time, and this is where I really screwed up, I think next time I'm going to need to take a bottle of water and uh, do some warm ups because I just kind of went straight into it. Um, and that might make the incline and decline a little bit more easier because right now I feel like my legs are going to give way at any moment and it's not cold. But uh, I'll see you guys down at the bottom, eh? Waiting like a pig. All right. I've had enough. I'm gonna teleport down to the bottom. <sighs> Made it to the bottom. Glad I teleported in that last moment. Don't know if I could have handled walking the rest of the way. <sighs> but I'm here now. So I'm going to take a breather and continue looking around. <sighs> it's a good thing I'm no longer up where I was. I can feel it finally starting to spit. So um, it's good that it's happening sort of now. <laughs> then when I was up there, eh? Woo. Remembering the New Zealand wars. Most of the casualties at Battle Hill were killed on 6 August 1846. Ensign Blackburn was the first fatality, killed by a sniper hidden in a tree. Seconds later, leading seaman Roberts was also shot. Three more, including Private Tuart, were killed trying to recover Blackburn's body. Roberts and Tuart are buried here at Battle Hill, close to the site of the government forces camp. A similar number of Te Rangahiatea's people were also killed. So as you can see, the other cool thing about Battle Hill is that there's plenty of walks to choose from, such as a mild one, or the one I did up there, which for me is quite full on. So there's plenty to see and do here at Battle Hill. It's definitely a place you want to check out, uh, probably on a, a day like this, to be honest. Uh, it's not, you know, hot and it's not raining. You know, a bit of overcast, so it helps you with your walks and stuff. You're not sweating like a pig. Well, I mean, you still can. You saw me earlier. So, yeah, definitely, Battle Hill is definitely a place to come. Definitely a family place. Definitely one worth checking. So, if you're ever in Wellington, check out Battle Hill. So right in front of me is the church that I was shuttling people from Battle Hill to here uh, on the filming of Daffodils. I can never be too certain what this location was for, but judging by what the extras in the cast were wearing and the fact that it's a church, I'm pretty sure this is where the wedding was. So yeah, it's quite a historic, beautiful looking church. Uh, there's a cemetery pretty much next to me right now. So, yeah. Alright, alright, I'll show you guys a little bit more.
So driving up Paikakariki Hill Road led me to this lookout. Um, I've been up here before at night time, didn't really see much. Uh, it's quite cloudy so still not really seeing much. But I've um, got my little camera here to set up a time lapse.